Hey, what's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys have had a great week. Been a good one here, a little busy, but still been fun getting a little more bench time in. So a little something a little different for our throwback Thursday here. Got a couple of kits here. Got a very cool Customs Illustrated magazine. These are put out by Luke Kurosi. Kurosi. So the magazines themselves are not anything too old, but the content in it is, you know, that culture, right? So I thought we'd kind of take a look through through that. And something a little different here. So I've got two kits here. Normally I kind of break them open, go through. These two, I'm not gonna do that today, but I'll show you what I'm gonna have out here. And I'll show you a little bit of it, but really cool. Uh, 64 Grand Prix Pontiac, customized by Dean Jeffries. So let's take a look at a couple things here. This is one, some of the stuff's wrapped up because parts have been sent out to be chromed, but you can kind of see some of the box art here. Really cool. This was, I, I think growing up, this was one of the first kind of old original kits that my pops and I picked up at, I think at an NNL or from a friend. And that's kind of triggered my dad, you know, going back to what he used to build. And uh, what kind of went from there with our collection. So you can kind of see here the old instructions of three and one. And pretty basic, you know, as these kits were, but Kind of the cool stuff when you get back there you got stock racing then your your custom version that goes through showing you all those uh nice customizing parts they give you and then a little bit of the advanced custom stuff they would walk you through back in the day you know how to fill in the parts you know how to use the glaze the filler all that was really cool you, know, you don't see as much of that these days from these guys. Not even as much of the custom stuff, but you, know, you can see the body here. Everything's really nice, really clean. Glass is going to need a little polishing, but yeah, they want a little piece. Let's see here. We got bumpers that are wrapped up there and the chrome on this really wasn't too bad considering you can kind of see there but really cool stuff even the old stock wheels and the custom caps they give you you know really neat neat parts back in these old kits here and what what was kind of cool when I popped this open, they even give you felt cloth inserts, you know, for the interior here, which is really cool. You know, a lot of neat stuff, you know, back then for the time and everything, right? So that was one of the kits. The other one I had here, We've been shuffling stuff around, so things kind of moved around a little bit. So, 63 hardtop, Chevy Impala. So, really cool. Uh, this was back before the Revelles came out and everything else. You know, we'd look for the 63 Fours, any of the other old ones, you know, 59 60s really cool you know here they give you the red tail lights you can see them sitting there in the interior and same thing some cool customizing parts uh, just stuff that was you know definitely different back then you know a lot, to me a lot more creativity back then that came from these and as you as you've seen you know you've had the Barris and Dean Jeffries and some of the other guys that weighed in on these kits that the model car companies had hired to, you know, help them come up with some of the custom stuff, which was really cool. So one of my questions is I'm curious 
for you guys. I know we've talked a little bit about buying the older kits, whether you collect them, build them. And everybody that kind of weighed in, that enjoys picking up the older kits, I think pretty much everyone said it, it's a go. You know, I buy it, buy it with the ideas of uh, building it one day, which is what we do. Uh, we don't generally, you know, there's times uh, friends want something more on the newer side. Um, that I'll, I'll sell to them if it's something that they can't find at the store anymore and I've got a few or uh, Trade or whatnot, but we don't really buy the stuff to sell we we will pick them up at swap meets eBay um, Really that that's the most of it, right? Uh, but we don't really pick it up to resell or anything. That's why we've got a good collection of these things that we've been buying you know, since I was a kid, my, when my father got back into it and I was using my allowance money every week to buy a model or save up for a show to buy stuff I liked at, at swap meets. So I'm curious, um, how often do you, for you guys that have these older kits or pick them up and, and these, I mean, these are going way back, right? These are going back, what, 70, about 70 years, 60, 70 years. So... I know vintage, there's a lot of stuff people call vintage, and, and I know because I grew up with it, just like you guys, I don't necessarily think of it as vintage because that makes me sound old, right? Uh, but I mean, th this older stuff, like going back, let's say, 60s and 70s, you know, how often do you guys build them, or how many have you built, and did you build them, you know, stock racing, did you take advantage of some of those customizing parts? You know, myself and Pops, most of these are built where they're more on the custom side or stock with a few other modifications lowered in that 60s style custom. Um, I definitely, I, for whatever reason, I've been really kind of getting more fascinated with some of the old gassers. So you're going to see a couple of those probably hit the bench. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just I enjoy the old stuff. I, I like new things. I like seeing what people do with uh, pro mods, pro touring, uh, top fuel cars, dragsters, NASCARs. Uh, and I there's things I want to build at some point. But when I think more about this older stuff or that older style, that's where the wheels really get to turning. So I'm just curious for you guys that pick up these older original kits. Do you build them right away? Do you kind of hold off? I know originally we started buying them with the ideas in our head to build them, but then we started accumulating more and more, and now we got a nice collection of old old stock stuff. Um, but definitely, I mean, I look at all this stuff, and there's an idea brewing. Brewing, you know. I mean, when I was younger, I didn't understand why Pops wanted like say the '63 and Foreign Pauls when AMT had them out, right? The Prestige series. When I was a kid, the Prestige series, uh, I think that was out with the 63 and the 64, the blue stock one on the box. But he always liked working. I think part of it was it kind of took him back to probably his younger days, childhood, when he bought these as a kid or teenager. And also, you know, the plastic just, it definitely does, it's a little different to work with. Um, I don't know if it's more of a placebo thing, something in your head, but it does feel like the plastic is a little easier to work with. Um, so I'm curious for you guys. I mean, what do you got? If, if you have some built up, I'd love to see them. Um, or just ideas, especially if you're kind of into the custom end of it. Love to hear what some of your plans are. So that's kind of my question out there to the community. One is you know do you have some of these old kits built up and i'd love to see them and two in a relatively short period do you have any ideas brewing to build any of them i know i do if i wasn't didn't have so many group builds going right now outside of my 36 which is an original i'm doing i'd probably put one of these on the bench but that will be coming early next year so Anyhow, that's kind of the spin on Throwback Thursday and the old kits. Uh, give me a second here. I'm going to flip this around and we'll check out this uh, the little magazine here. Give me a second, okay? All right, so here we go. Customs Illustrated. 
This is issue number 58. Custom history. So really cool stuff. You know, this is, I'm assuming somewhere around 2019 or early 2020. I believe there were about four of these that would come out a year. So one of my favorites, as you guys know, let's scoot that over a little. Shoebox Ford, here's a custom 49 Ford. Just absolutely gorgeous, look at that. I'm not sure I understand. And there's Siri, of course. When I need something, she is, it's all crickets. Otherwise, she listens in and comments when she doesn't, not need it. So, another shot of that. Let's see the engine bay. Got the Cadillac Sombreros. Love these 49s. As you know, I'll be starting on one of these here for my own group build for my channel here. That'll probably be hitting the bench towards the end of the year. Cool. Merc. I didn't get that. Could you try again? We're going to try a silencer there. Some really cool stuff there. Where were you in 82? A look at the 80s custom resurgence. Really cool 50 style diner, huh? Gosh, that probably is. Fabulous 50s driving in Indiana. Really cool. Question. According to Wikipedia, the minimum age to earn an unrestricted drive. All right. Nice 56 Ford there. It's like a Merc. A couple Mercs. Thirty-nine Ford sedan that's been customized. A Forty-six Chevy. Really cool stuff. Oh man, look at that Ford. That's nice. Very cool right there. Custom magazines of the 80s. I think we have some of these that Pops had picked up, put away. Check that out. Another shoebox Ford. Very nice cars. I'd love to have a full scale, real one to one. Very cool interior. Definitely something different. Really cool stuff. 40 Mercury Convertible, the Cunningham Saltzman. Definitely some wild stuff. Definitely old stuff. An old grainy photograph of Mercury in front of Forrest Saltzman's 
sunny slope paint and body shop. The car is sporting spotlights and a 56 Oldsmobile Fiesta wheel covers. Oh man, look at that. That would not be fun. If only imagined. Not good. Oh, there you go. Look at some of those. Absolutely beautiful. Grand National Customs. Yeah, this is Pomona celebrated the 71st show. Very cool. Very nice. 47 Caddy. Look at that. Definitely don't see those every day. See what else we got there. Bye. What's up, bud? Here's my grandson. He loves his cars. Some more shots there. 50s flashback. And that is the end of that magazine. Bye. You want to come see cars? Let's see if the grandson wants him. Give me a second. Where's the car? You see a car? The pink one? Where's the other cars? Down. You see the big one? Yeah. Down. Down. Yeah. All right, everybody, so that's a little guy there. He's getting ready for a nap, it sounds like, but yeah, he, he likes his cars. He comes over first thing he does, cars, 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 whether it's models or the real one or his Hot Wheels. So that's cool. have to get him going all in time on some little snap kits and stuff. So anyways, guys, that's a throwback Thursday, a little community question there. So hope everybody's having a good, uh, good week and appreciate all the support the subs the likes the comments uh, great community check out our uh, supporters there hobby nut models scale finishes and uh, we'll have some more stuff coming in the next couple of days so we'll catch you all later have a good week